When someone is engaged sexually with somebody they're obsessed with, it can feel like this sense of oneness, of being loved in the right kind of way, especially when you're with somebody who's somewhat of a romantic fantasy. It just feels like the perfect moment. Richard and Diane know about each other's affairs, choose to work on the relationship and, and rebuild their marriage again. And the turning point is when Richard discovers this email from Harry, thinking that this lover is out of the picture, and he realized this lover is not quite as out of the picture as he would like him to be. It almost sounds like Sheila wanted to replace her husband with Nelson. It was symbolic of Nelson was replacing Paul, and she really liked that idea. Fast forward. A man calls 911 and states that he accidentally shot himself. 40 seconds into the phone call, a second shot goes off, and he's bleeding profusely. The 911 dispatcher tries to keep the man alive and encourage him to talk, but it was to no avail. Unfortunately, the man died. But the case blows up when an autopsy reveals that this man was in fact shot two times in the back. Sexual satisfaction is a bit like the glue in a relationship. And when the sex goes, it usually means something is going on. There is a disconnect. It's hard to imagine how a husband would put up with what Sheila was putting him through telling him to move out all of his clothes, like he doesn't exist in the apartment. A lot of men would be like, what are you nuts? When couples bring each other home to their families, it certainly signifies that you're thinking about this person more seriously, that you're thinking about this person having a place in your future. She wasn't really thinking, wow, what does Nelson want? Does Nelson like me as a girlfriend? Does he see me as somebody significant in his life? What he wanted and what he thought of her almost was irrelevant. And the more information she finds out, the more information she needs to get. So it's an obsession, it's a compulsion, and really at this point, Sheila is grossly out of control. Can you imagine being able to cross-examine your lover on the stand and that that person is under oath to answer questions that you ask? I mean, that's a control freak's dream. She had Nelson right where she wanted him. 